welcome guys to another video and in this video I'll talk about how COVID changed my life from all the perspectives and uh, things which started to uh, change during that period and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video hit the subscribe button because I drop two new videos every single Sunday and Thursday and you don't want to miss them so hit that subscribe button because it helps also the channel and I want to grow with you guys to reach more people and uh, see everyone growing together so it started off when the first lockdown came so it was 2020 March I was working in the tax declaration department at our bank and uh, very like not very special work because uh, it was quite the same repetitive and uh, and then the corona lockdown came and I had to work from home so quite a lot of free time after work before work all these things then I started to watch YouTube and uh, what did I learn from YouTube? I started to realize morning routines, I started to see how valuable it is to read things, so I started reading, I started to calisthenics, I was looking after my body, just to have the mental health. All that stuff came in there in March, April, May. Like, it was a difficult time there to, to like, process the information and uh, calm yourself down and uh, like investing in yourself so for me I mean there are a lot of people who just enjoyed the time there watched Netflix Netflix and all the other streaming uh, things there are on and scrolling through TikTok and Instagram I started off with TikTok actually uh, scrolling there a bit and then I've realized no that is the wrong way but I got out there, I started to do all these morning routines and stuff like that and um, I realized like what am I doing with my life because before it was like that I was like fulfilling everything what was required from me like I was a good student, the student or a good uh, like in the school for my parents it was I was like the child who got the good grades and I I was uh, fulfilling all these expectations from home and in my apprenticeship from work from from the environment like all the things which were required from me I was I was good I was fine and I was playing badminton there as well and uh, I had like the force from my uh, coach from from my parents, everyone just to play good and stuff like that and I was just going with the external flow, like the external locus of control I guess. And um, then that corona lockdown came so I was like what am I doing with my life here because just my life I need to, I need to get responsible of it and get the most out of it with um, getting out of my comfort zone, facing fears I didn't do like confront before uh, talking with people uh, to being more open saying if something is not right and you don't and you want to change and uh, it is like it goes into stop feeling guilty like uh, I stopped feeling guilty about things uh, for example I stopped with badminton last year because I had all that pressure from not pressure but the expectations from the outside were big I was going on the, I was playing on the tournaments and stuff like that, but I mean it's all a psychological game there, I guess. Even if you are very skilled, if you don't have good mental strength in badminton, then you'll lose and I didn't have that, so I was uh, feeling uncomfortable in the, all these situations and in the environment there I always got like pushed a bit too much and uh, like it it wasn't even for me I wasn't like fully happy with the sports I was doing and then I started with the gym and I was slowly stepping up like 
how it is to do exercises wrong what is good for my body because with badminton I was injuring like my knee injury there got even worse every single year so I had to stop for my injury but also it is partly because I was not fully satisfied there so I started with the gym I started the journey with nutrition with calisthenics all these type of things I started to improving there and I finally found like the passion I've got and that it was for my mental health not just to destroy my body so I rather enjoy doing something where like it is all under my control because every single plate I put on that rack or on that bar it is my responsibility how much weight I will put on there or how much I want to get more in there so I force myself more and more to go to the limits there so that's what I enjoy because it is under full control of myself and uh, so I try started to change there and then I, I overcame that fear to stop with badminton because it is not having the best impact on my life it is taking a lot of time in my life up and then um, started to f focus on fitness I started to focus on reading I started to focus on personal development I started now even a YouTube channel and uh, these are all things which uh, kept me back from starting something which uh, which like where I can see the potential of growing even more and more and I mean with YouTube in such a big community it is so good to meet new people to to like meet people who have the same interest and want to improve themselves and um, it is like I want that positive impact on myself as well to keep pushing me even further to grow and overcome fears and and just getting out of that comfort zone and uh, like in my I mean I'm still working you know, actually that's <laughs> another thing because um, I, will, I told you guys that I was working 80% part-time and uh, studying part-time so I mean my days were filled like literally from I worked four days uh, and from I mean I left my house at seven o'clock and came back at six o'clock went to the gym mostly and then it was already nine o'clock and even then I had a morning routine I was reading 30 minutes per day and things like that but days went by so quickly and I was feeling that I couldn't reach the full potential there and um, then my studies which started in September I was like I have Tuesday the whole day um, uni and uh, then in the evenings Wednesday and Thursday as well so from 5 30 until 9 o'clock I have uni and on Saturday mornings as well so it add up so much time and then like I feel like you know, it's not right where the direction is going because I enjoy my job that is one thing because uh, I love uh, talking about investments and uh, I'm really into the economic uh, style and everything but I also got the passion of developing myself and having like the personal like the personal motivation to motivate other people and have a good impact on their lives so that's why I started this channel as well but I realized that I need to find a balance again because I enjoy filming and uh, editing stuff like that not like that I can invest hours of or 10 hours of editing I still enjoy it as like my free time um, journey so that's why I started also this channel and then um, in the same time I also reduced my uh, working hours like uh, I took an afternoon off so I can focus also on this part and you know when you do things like that you need to be ready for the hate you get because not the hate but also like they're looking at you like you're something like stepping out of something where you where you're already good like stepping out of that comfort zone is looked from your environment like mm, will that really be successful will that work why is the reason like I mean, YouTube you're working in a bank why why are you doing this like these type of um, other perspective of life people've got that's where uh, 
for that you need to be ready because um, we uh, you can't change that or it is just difficult that to explain that to them too much just just step back relax I mean they can say whatever they want and it needs to be like you just get it in okay and leave it there because at the end it is your life and as I said from the beginning you don't want to feel guilty and uh, I mean it's just they're just words and no actions like they're not harming your body or anything and there's just a fear which gets inside your head and if you can get that out you get out of the comfort zone and uh, grow on any aspect on your life and focus on everything you've got in your life and be fully responsible of your life and this is actually the whole journey of how COVID actually changed my life I mean uh, I had the coronavirus just lately but how it affected me in here and in my mental and mental and body health it is just I need to say thank you because I I wouldn't have gotten here in these past two years if I didn't went through that phase of uh, of developing myself and getting here where I am so I'm saying actually thank you to coronavirus that it got me it gave me time to reflect on my life and I think that's what you should do as well and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on uh, how Corona changed my life and uh, I want to have some positive impact on your lives as well and uh, comment down below what you think about this topic how Corona changed your life and I'll talk to you guys in the next video and thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video